previously on my Starfield Let's Play. You're back. Did you decide to join? Uh, Jess, when do you plan to sleep between this and everything else? We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take a farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. You know, you could just come quietly, and this doesn't have to end violently. Oh, I think it does. Oh, so they stole the ship. Probably should return it to Hope Tech. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. So it's time to get to the bottom of this out at Hope Tech. I don't know what those cattle rustlers were up to, but we're gonna find okay, out. Okay, let's go. Welcome back to my Let's Play series where we procrastinate beating the game. We've been deputized by the Free Star Rangers to investigate some cattle rustlers. They stole a ship from Hope Tech over in Volo. So we're gonna jump over there and meet up with the local ranger. and I just got here. You're good to go. All clear to land at Hope Town. Poor Doc on this eagle. Hey, if you've been enjoying the videos, go ahead and smash that like button so that more people can see them. Oh me oh my. This ship is fancy. Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. Captain Kelvin at your service. Although I guess technically it's Deputy Kelvin. Yeah, well if you want to keep that badge, then don't get any ideas. This old girl and I have been through a lot together. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Oh no, troubleshooting. That's a lot like real life. Just patch her up enough to get to Hope Town. The rest can get fixed up there. Easy peasy. Thanks. I owe you one. We'll just hop, skip, and jump away. Oh wow, I just need to pull a switch for that one. A lever. Yay. Why the heck is there an e-stop there? Well, those sound like good noises. We did it. Hooray. Thanks. That should get me home. Yeah, you'll be fine, but the men who did this to you are still at large. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Don't you worry. Barrett, Vasco, and I got this they taken care of. They look to be of. heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. Sweet! I've been itching for some action. Ship separated. Engaging drive. I messed 
I'm up dead. Spirit, craft ours are more than down. Oh, <laughs> your engines are almost failing too. Let's get some repairs done. Oh, yes. You turned the wrong way, friend. Oh, yeah, he's setting me up as bait for his friend. That's what he was doing, though. Not anymore, he's not. Oh, she did work on them. This is gonna be easy. Stop dodging. Oh, I can't wait to get more firepower. I'm going to get my hands on one of those eagles when I become a full ranger. And it's going to be Okay, come back. Shields are down. Let's see if we can get a target lock on them. If not, the ballistic should deal with them. Yeah, we're good. Easy. Let's head back over. Oh, I guess down to Hope Tech. Set the course. Go, don't tell me how to live my life. I'm pretty polite normally, though. Ron hopes the best Excuse me. That Excuse happened. me. A little desperate here. Well, you don't need to be so forward, miss. Oh, it's you over there. All right, Adela. Deep breath. Oh, God. Maybe I got the wrong idea. You sound like you're about to throw up. <laughs> I'm just great. Grand, really. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Worse than being executed? What the heck did you do? Where to start? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> <laughs> you get it then. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel, nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got Crazy. Spacers, free star security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. Oh, she went from neon. She was smuggling some hard stuff. I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. Yeah, once you leave neon, it's all illegal. It gets even worse. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? Well, I guess I can't tell people I'm Captain Kelvin anymore. You are the best! This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Oh, wow. She's standing really close to the bar where that tracker is. <laughs> oh, 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 terrifying. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. Oh, you think you're slick, do you? He's a good tracker. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markab? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. 
You know the drill. Oh no, I had no idea. You got me dead to rights. I won't shoot first, but I'll tell you one thing. I'll sure as heck shoot last. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. It's your gut talking to you, dude. You want to listen to it. This whole situation is fishier than Neon is. Maybe. Maybe not. Clearly, you're being lied to. This whole situation's messed up. And all I have to back that up are words. You know that this doesn't add up. Yeah, nothing about this adds up. You don't want to kill an innocent person. It's not easy. But I don't kill people that don't need killing. All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. Whatever you were shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. Yeah, well, the cargo's been ditched, dude. <laughs> There's no way they're ever going to settle for that. Ah, sucks to be you. One more drink and it's lift off. Don't drink and drive, kids. Trust me, you do not want an OWI. Why did I ever take... I feel sick. That man said <laughs> that she shot her way out of neon. I mean... Maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. I took care of that tracker for you. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. At the end of the day, most drug dealers are just illegal businessmen. You're going to want to deal with that. You're right. I'll see what I can do. You're a literal lifesaver. Take this. Wait. One side quest down. Howdy. Let's get back in there and see if the ranger can help us figure this out. Somebody's been stealing ships and rustling cattle. We need to stop them. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Right. First things first. We need to see how she's doing. You look a lot better. I can walk, talk, and breathe without too much pain. That's good enough for me. That's good to hear. We took those outlaws out, no issue. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Let's return the ship to the governor. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Don't worry, I got a badge. I find it pretty interesting this guy is the CEO of this company and the local governor. Seems like a lot of power for one person to have. That's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. It doesn't we justify screwing people our over. People here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. We certainly could use more of you. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. <sighs> Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. So we found this ship of yours that was stolen. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found. 
and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. No, no you don't. This marshal told me to be on my manners. Then, I trust that you know what I expect of you. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind, hmm? Well, the person who stole the ship sold it to a group of ex-military men that were trying to steal a farm from a farmer. And that's about it. Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but... I'll answer whatever questions I can. No one's good enough to steal an entire spaceship off of a what? factory floor without getting help. Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. It's pretty fishy that they didn't report any property stolen. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. What's more? Every starship thief in the settled systems who would would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. So, was there a significance about this spaceship? No, nothing at all. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Now you can bet my ships last twice as long. So they made it in here, stole we the entire spaceship, and nobody saw anything. Happened. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable. You are completely unhelpful. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech. For I provide jobs that put food on their tables. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. Well, that I understand. I'll be discreet, sir. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope. There's been a development. Not now, cousin. I'm in the middle of something. Sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Keep an eye on your map. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Yep, I just gotta silt through the filth on Neon. Yeah, me too. So, guess you're headed for Neon. He's a little different than the rest of us. A neon's a different kind of place. Oh, skip the part the where she told me the ranger's name. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. No worries, and you keep your ears out for anything suspicious. Yeah, the question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful in neon. Rightio, let's get going to Neon. What happens in Neon typically stays in Neon. So we got our work cut out for us. Now I believe Neon is technically 
a member of the Freestar Collective, but they are very far away. And Vol 2, right through Olympias again. And there it is, the city that's always sleeping. Consuming too many controlled substances during your stay in neon risks damaging your brain. That's really good advice, Vasco. Don't worry, we aren't here for leisure. We're here to track down a lead and a starship thief. Let's get going. Well, I don't know if we really need to be scanned as much going in as we do need to coming out. Oh, what's going on here? Don't move, Nesha. Cut the act. Snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you stepped through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. Looks like we stumbled upon a mule getting arrested. Let's just give them some space here. If we creep up on there, we might end up getting involved. Smuggle the Aurora into Aquila City or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, so honest mistake, right? Can, can we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it, let's go. Oh, I've heard about how the law works around here. He's just going to pay a bribe and get right out. Let's get in there with them and head up. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We have a As I do not have a brain or central nervous system. I do not understand the benefits of Aurora. I don't know if there's any more benefits than to helping people forget their troubles. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? And you are obviously Ranger Price. The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. Secrets are a profitable venture. I'm sure people will be able to open up with a little bit of bribes. You're not listening. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. No, don't worry. I won't stir up any trouble around here. I know you'll pay for it if I do. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. All right, show me the way then. Come on. Yo, Vasco, are you gonna move, bud? Get out of the man's way. Hey, Frankie's grab and go. It's hey, open wait, too. Got a second? Are you doing riveting out here? What? Oh shoot! Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of good ones. Check. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Keep this on the down low, but there is a starship thief that's skilled enough to steal a ship right off a factory floor. Right out of the factory? <laughs> Damn, that's pretty impressive. Well, here's the thing. 
Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. This will jog your memory. Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you could do for me. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Damn straight, that's part of the job. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. Oh, I know I could change your mind, but that's not the right thing to do. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. I can tell by the fact that his last name is Goodman that this is not going to be easy. All right, let's just get inside. This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. You just said that, my guy, but I got an appointment. Do you now? I get it. You're just doing your job. But you see, they might not have told you, but I have an appointment. I'm here on business. I'm not falling for that. You're not getting past me. Well, you know... I hear you. Good, because I need to get in there. This is important. <laughs> and you seem like a yes man. The answer's still no. Maybe you've got hearing problems. I don't know. I said you ain't getting in here, and I meant it. Now get lost! Just shut up and take my money. As long as you behave yourself and don't overstay your welcome, I don't see the harm in a quick visit. Here, this will get you in. That's embarrassing. The Riz won't work on everybody. Too many controlled substances during your stay in Neon risks damaging your brain. Thanks for the reminder, Vasco, but you're kind of a buzzkill. I've told you before, I'm here on business, not for pleasure. Let's meet this Mr. Goodman. A new customer, perhaps? Well now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? Let me be square with you, buddy. I'm here on business. Oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf, but I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. The only type of loan that allows people to collect from relatives after they're deceased are student loans, and you don't look like you work for a university. Well, that's where you're wrong. Cal agreed to my terms including collection from family on the event of his passing. It ain't my fault he dragged Billy into it. But make no mistake, that's exactly what he did. What's your stake in this anyway? I'm here on an investigation, and Billy's helping me out. Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Now, buddy, don't you want to cooperate with me? Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. A man can't pay you what he doesn't have. He's working at Frankie's. He's barely getting by as it is. Well, that ain't wrong. And clearly your legitimate business might need help from the Rangers in the future. That is true. And let's say you did impede an investigation. Well... Things might get really difficult for you. Let's just calm down now. Billy's struggling to get by as it is, and if you back a cat into a corner, you might get scratched. I know all about that. I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. Folks might try to take advantage. Whew. Wow. We slapped the Riz on hard there. So let's get this information out of Billy. A warm welcome from Goodman. Did you talk to Goodman? 
I sure did, my guy. You've been going through a lot lately, and now you don't have to worry about paying your brother's debt back. I took care of it for you. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. Okay, time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit, and she's been throwing money around, so it must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. It's time to confront the Starship Thief, but that's going to be it for today. Make sure to subscribe for Part 3, which will be out Sunday. Okay, let's go.